Hey everyone and welcome back to Everything Air Guns. Today we're going to be diving into the invisible world of infrared light. We're going to uncover the secrets of the IR850 and IR940. If you've been looking for infrared scopes or infrared binoculars, you will have heard these terms. We're going to enlighten you to how these devices see you in the dark. Let's give a quick intro into the basics of night vision technology. So there's two main types, passive and active devices. Passive devices, which are typically used by military personnel, to amplify the available light using image intensifiers to provide a clear image with no lag. However, they come at great cost. So what if there's no light at all? That's where active devices come in. They use infrared light emitters to illuminate the scene, or the area, making everything visible even on the darkest of nights. Now there's different types of infrared light. Today we're going to be focusing on two of the most popular that's used for night vision and that's the IR850 and IR940. First up, the IR850. The 850 refers to the wavelength of the light that it emits, 850 nanometers to be exact. In simple terms, this wavelength is just outside the visible light spectrum, what we can see. It's a bit more powerful, and it gives off a faint red glow. So you might have been walking through town after coming out of a nightclub or something, and you can see the security cameras. And underneath they've got like a, a light source where you can just see a dim purple ready glow underneath. That is the emitter that's shining the light for the camera to be able to pick up and see. Because the IR850 is more powerful, it can reach further distances, so the range is greater and it's brighter. So if you need to spot something far away in total darkness, IR850 is your go-to. Okay, let's switch gears into the IR940. The 940 means that the wavelength it runs on is 940 nanometers. It's even deeper into the invisible spectrum meaning there's no red glow. But here's the trade-off. It's got a shorter range and it produces a slightly dimmer image compared to the IR850. Perfect if you want to stay hidden, but you might not see so far. So what's the bottom line? Here's a quick comparison. For long range visibility, go with the IR850. However, for stealth and close range operations, IR940 is your best bet. To put it into perspective, hunters and wildlife observers might prefer the IR850 for the greater range and the brighter image. On the other hand, security personnel and stealthy operations often opt for IR940 to prevent detection. It's all about balancing the visibility and the stealth. So there you have it, IR850 versus IR940. Whether you're spotting game or keeping a low profile, understanding the differences between the IR850 and IR940 will help you make the right choice for your night vision needs. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tips and tricks from Everything Air Guns. Come along and join our community on Facebook at Everything Air Guns. We'd love to see you there. Thanks for watching. Stay sharp and see you in the next video.